Now let's talk about adding audio effects. Just like volume and pan settings, effects can be added either to a clip or to a track. And so that's a really important distinction. We actually already added an effect to a track when we were doing the submix tutorial a few few tutorials ago. Uh, let's start now though with adding a an effect to an individual clip. So here's the playing the clip there, and we're gonna add an effect. Let's say we want to add a reverb effect to that. I'm gonna go to my effects tab down here in the project area, and in here there is a category of things called audio effects. And in the audio effects, we have balance, band, pass, bass. And I'm not going to go through the details of what each of these do, because, of course, that's a, a great deal of detail we don't have time for here. But you can certainly read these. Most of these are very common effects that you should be familiar with. Or if you're not, it's very easy to get information on the, uh, on the web, what a high pass is or you know what a low pass is or whatever. I'm just going to add the reverb, and I can drag the reverb onto the clip just like that. Or I can just double click it and it will apply to whatever the clip is underneath the playhead there. And so once I apply that, mode, we have more international stuff. you hear that reverb applied. If we want to control the reverb, we're going to go to the effects controls. And here, now in addition to the volume and the channel volume, you'll see a category for reverb. And here in the reverb, we can, we can adjust the setup there. We need, I need a little bit of a bigger screen to see these parameters here, but let's just increase the mix so you can hear a little bit more of the reverb effect there. In somewhat of a startup mode. Right, and if we want to hear it without, if we want to bypass, we can just click that bypass. We have more international staff. In the next five years, it will be completely domestic staff. Right, so you can hear that reverb effect being added. And that's how you would add an effect to an individual clip. Let's go ahead and add something else. Let's add this pitch shifter. And then the pitch shifter will appear as well under the reverb. And then if I can go in here and I can adjust the pitch, just bring that up a little bit. And now, in somewhat of a startup mode, where we have more international staff. In the next five years, it will be completely domestic staff. Right, so we can play with that as well. And as you're probably already wondering, can we keyframe it? Well, yes, we can. We can modify these parameters exactly the way we modified the volume and the pan parameters. If I turn that button on and enable animation, then we get all of our keyframe controls there. We can make adjustments there and change it so that the pitch, in this case, is going to shift from low to high. In somewhat of a startup mode, where we have more international staff. And so all of those parameters are keyframable. You can always tell if a, key, a parameter is keyframable if it has that little stopwatch next to it there. And then, you know, you get the sense of what you can do here. Any effect, you can adjust the parameters. And again, this custom setup will give you the actual controls. But in fact, my window is so small that it, it's hard to see. See, so I need to, I, I'm working on a small screen to do the tutorial here. But if you've got a bigger monitor, you'll be able to see a graphical interface there for all the different audio effects. To delete an effect, just select the name of the effect and press the delete key.